11. We are focused on the fort and a big decision by leaders from Fort Wayne Community Schools. Will your child have to wear a mask in the classroom? And one person who doesn't want masks for school children, uh, our Congressman Republican Jim Banks. You will hear from him. Hey, will the heat and humidity bring rain? I've got details coming up. Live from Television Park, this is Fort Wayne's NBC News at 11. Fort Wayne Community Schools will have full masks. I really appreciate this change. Some of us parents are gonna fight for our children's freedoms. New at 11, FWCS issuing a mask mandate. Vaccinated or not, students and staff will have to wear a mask when they go back to the classroom. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Tom Powell. We're glad you're here tonight. Fort Wayne's NBC News reporter Carly Van Cleve has new reaction to the new rule. How do we have teachers in our classrooms? How do we have students in school every day? FWCS Superintendent Dr. Mark Daniel says the best way to accomplish that, follow this new plan. With only 5% of FWCS students vaccinated, masks will no longer be optional. Instead, they'll be required. We have to figure out how to get students back in school. And that means we have to keep it as safe as possible. Teachers, bus drivers, our uh, food service, you just go right down the line. His decision it's against my right. met with mixed reaction. Only two parents spoke during public comments. One strongly opposed to the mask mandate. These are attacking my children's religious beliefs and my family's religious beliefs. Another grateful the district will require masks. I'm a religious person too, and one of my favorite things is that you're supposed to love your neighbor. Yeah. And that includes all of them. And the way we show our love right now in the middle of a pandemic is by putting a mask on. Jessica Farlow is an FWCS parent and teacher. Her daughter has a weakened immune system. We've prayed for days um, to know that next week when she goes back, she won't be the only kiddo in a mask. Daniel says he leaned on the Allen County Health Department to make the decision to require masks, and he will continue to listen to the health commissioner's advice. We'll basically take it week by week, and we'll be using the data again provided with what's the infection rate and so forth and really what's happening in our schools. That was Carly Van Cleve reporting. 